are running away from me. They're gone. They're fleeting. Um, today is the 12th of July. I almost said January. I am bad about doing that sometimes. But um, I'm going to help Doug load again this morning. And then we're going to go clean up that really messy bag that I showed you guys probably earlier in this video or in the last video maybe. Split corn bag. While they're extracting it, it's zippered. So we're gonna go down there with that pile driver that we've been hooking up for the last couple days. And hopefully that will be a one day job. This time we are cleaning up a corn bag. Um, it's not pouring rain this time, but the ground is soft underneath this bag. So we have had some problems with putting the pile driver too far down. Uh, that, that was me. But when you put it down too far, the tires start digging in and you can't, you're not gonna be able to see it at all. I'll show you guys after. But these tires up there are digging into the ground so earlier when we had this running, um, I was pushing the lever down, thinking he was going down or up, thinking he was going up, but it was going down and uh, just sunk that thing into the bag. Big old ruts in the beginning of it, but we got it all figured out. We're gonna go through it one time and then we're gonna go through it a second time after it's all swept to the middle and that should get most of this stuff cleaned up. As with any bag zippering, you are going to have grain loss. You're going to have grain loss anyway. Because extracting bags, you're going to lose some. But such is life. So now that we are done with the first round, this is how much is left. We're gonna pile drive it again and then sweep what's left into piles. So. It's really not that bad. We could have gone lower, but like I said, we're, we could have gone lower, but this ground is really soft. I'll show you guys what the beginning of the bag looks like. also the hottest day of this week slash this year. I think it's supposed to get to like 97 by 4. So it is hot. We're spilling over the other side. Um, but yeah, normally I do not do good in hot weather, but I've been drinking a lot of water today. I've been eating good food. So, hopefully, I won't pass out. This is over in the beginning of the bag. It is so soft over here. There is ruts under the bag. Woo! Glass is gonna come in at an angle instead of uh, straight on because that is not gonna work. And then under the bag, let's see if I can find one here. Yeah. 
You can't see it on the camera, but this morning I had that pan too dug deep because I thought I was going up, but I was going down and I didn't watch the cylinders. And then it dug into that thing. I guess you can see it over here. It is just so soft. Like this is level and that's in the ground. I probably won't video a bunch more just because my phone battery is dying. It is hot outside and I'm running this sweeper now while Tristan cleans up the last pile thing. So this is a learning curve. I've never been good with a uh, little hand motion things. Oh, someone's gonna see. I had to pull the truck out. The ground is very soft. Okay, everything is swept. We are going to hook up to the roller and start extracting it like you normally would. And hopefully all goes well because it is hot. There's a little friend. We are so close to being done. Yeesh. But the pile is off center. It's really super muddy. You're gonna have that. 
Tell me about it. Sunny and hot all day. And then as soon as you're done, clouds come out and it's supposed to rain. But at least we got all this stuff cleaned up before it rained. <sighs> Positives to everything. I look like a cob of corn. Covered in bees wings. <laughs> Who did that? Hmm. Who's driving this thing? Let's see who's driving it. Oh, oh, dang it. I did that. It is July 17th, and this is what the wheat looks like behind me. This is some of the stuff way down south, but I am swathing today and I've been doing that the day before that and the day before that but we're swathing um, so that we can get hay knocked down before harvest and all bailed up we don't have a lot of hay we just have a couple fields and then um, we have ditch hay that Joel is doing so I get to run the Mac down good old 9200 no auto steer no AC real character building experiences here So I swath a lot and then Joel has been uh, cutting ditches. So the little pattern is that I'll go swath what he is like cutting ditches by and then I'll go rake the field that I swathed if it needs it and then I'll probably start raking ditches behind him because um, I'll be done swathing soon. We really don't have that much to swath. and. Uh, so that makes it a little better because that swather doesn't have AC. Well, it does, it just can't keep up because it's a little glass box and it's really bad. So I think we're supposed to get some storms this weekend. So I don't know how much more we will cut down, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do. All right, it is the 19th of July. Here is the stuff we planted first in April. It still has some green patches in it, um, but it looks super even. Oh my goodness. Lots of green in there still, actually. That'll be a while yet, but... Not far off. Oh yeah. And down the road from that field is this field that was planted a couple weeks later. This is the field that the tractor, both tractors got stuck in. Um, so it looks really good. Very pleased with how everything has come up this year, especially with mudding everything in for the most part. Like there was a lot of stuff that got just absolutely caked in the ground. Um, you know, wheat sticking to packer wheels and the whole nine yards. So we 
are all very grateful, especially boss man, that it came up. So we were expecting a lot worse, but we got enough rain in the last couple weeks and the weather has been favorable. So now it's hot and it's supposed to be and the wheat is turning and everything is good. I'm really excited to be back in a grain cart. Um, it's high pace. I get to see all the stuff. Just a really fun, it's what I have the most fun doing, I think. And everyone says I should run a combine, but I really enjoy running a grain cart. So we had a problem with the baler. There's a knocking noise in there, one of the bearings or something. So Craig told me to open it up and we forgot there was part of a bale in there. So he's just gonna... We're making hay in the shop, it's cooler. <laughs> We're gonna, I guess Craig's just gonna go back and bale all of it up again. hi yay yay. There she goes. How far is she gonna go? <laughs> Maybe? Oh, it's gonna catch its second wind. Oh no! It's going all the way down. Did it stop yet? No. <laughs> I don't think it's going to. It's gonna run into that other way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my oh, gosh. <laughs> so because we don't do a lot of hay and all the hay we do is manual steering and lots of noise. Normally I don't record a lot because it's just, it's too much for my little brain. Not really, but you just gotta pay attention. And when you're holding a phone and there's no like magnet mounts in most of the equipment, like you guys are just gonna have to sit right there and it's a really bad angle, but um, it's July, I think it's the 22nd. Holy moly, maybe the 23rd. Um, I'm helping a neighbor right now with raking his hay. We actually seeded this stuff in April or May for him and now called Craig and asked him if there was anyone to spare, I guess, to come help him rake stuff up. So, I was the willing victim because I like doing hay stuff, and after this is done, I'll go back to the shop 
and I've been making lots of invoices for people that are buying bags for harvest this year. And then I called Craig and he said that we will probably put another load of bags to be delivered together for customers that order like a couple pallets because it's a pain in the butt to haul those back home on a pickup trailer sometimes unless they were going to use neck, which sometimes they don't. So anyway, neither here nor there, but after all this hay stuff is done, I don't know what's going to be next besides harvest, like most of the time in between hay and harvest there's like a little bit of a break, kind of, and then that's only if you're not like helping out combines and stuff. But we just got new combines, Tristan and Matt are currently pulling those into the shop to look them over, make sure everything is hunky dory, and I'm really excited to show you guys all the fun we're going to have with harvest this year. I think I'm going to be working with a couple more partners. Um, for equipment stuff so other than that I've just been squatting and raking away I learned how to bail the other day I did not actually get to bail because Craig was bailing but I did learn how to so if you need to be I can't do that but other than that this is where I've been for the last like two weeks it also has been very smoky you can't really see it on camera because you guys aren't familiar with the area but it is smoky. The weather app says unhealthy for sensitive groups, but at least it's 